So what's up, my people? Um, I just wanted to come to you briefly. There was a lot of uh, lying that I did. Um, uh, <laughs> promises that I made about being more frequent with my videos. Just a lot of lies, 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 and not being able to come through uh, with those promises. So I'm going to say this. I make a video when I make a video. Hopefully you'll get it. Hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, and I do anticipate being more frequent, but I don't want to say that because lots of things come up in life that really thwart those plans of making more and more videos for you guys. Um, let's see. Uh, so I did want to talk about a couple of things. The one was the National Defense Authorization Act that the President um, Obama signed on the eve of 2012 uh, into law, which basically any citizen um, can be labeled a terrorist, terrorist or non-citizen can be citizen can be labeled a terrorist and held indefinitely uh, without trial or without being accused of anything other than just being a terrorist indefinitely um, in prison. And even though he said he had reservations. And even though he said that this won't happen underneath his administration, there were um, he effectively put this into place so that anybody that follows can use this as a weapon uh, against the population in this country. Now, you guys know that I have no faith in this government, whether it's Obama or any other president, and um, so he is a part of this, um, this imperialism and. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to make you guys aware. You can't really do anything at this point. Um, just, you know, I just wanted to let you know that stuff that I do can be labeled terrorist um, and when speaking out against this government and, and, and maybe even speaking out in favor of other governments. Um, and that quite possibly me not being on YouTube one day could be as a result of uh, being labeled a terrorist. You never know. So, uh, I also want to talk about some of these um, protests that have been happening around the world, uh, situations that are um, going on in Africa right now. Uh, for weeks now, um, protesters have been rallying in Congo and in the UK and the United States, and I'm excited because um, this is a show of African internationalism where you have Africans not only um, protesting where they are, but they act effectively carried out. Um, their agenda throughout their the diaspora and you know wherever um, Africans are are really organizing to defend or uh, raise up the situations that are happening um, at, in their homeland. Uh, pretty recently um, Nigeria uh, started to <laughs> protest as well because there was a removal of the fuel subsidy which effectively is going to triple the uh, fuel uh, fuel cost in the country. Now Nigeria is one of the top oil producers in Africa and the citizens won't even be able to afford to put you know gas in their tank or uh, and not only does it affect the fact that they won't be able to get from point A to point B it's going to also increase the cost of food because you know when food travels from one place to another it's going to need gas to get there when you're traveling in trucks and so that's also going to effectively um, I'm saying effectively too much, but that's also going to inc increase the cost of food as well. And essentially, the neocolonial government of Nigeria is saying to the population of Nigeria to fuck you. Um, and I'm excited because not only are these protests happening in Nigeria, and not just the capital, but they're happening all over Nigeria, and they're, you know, it's being dubbed as Occupy Nigeria, and, t and saying enough is enough with regards to. Um, the resources of their land not being used toward them. If anything, anybody in, in Nigeria or anybody getting oil from Nigeria, the Nigerians themselves should be, you know, um, should be uh, reveling in the cost that, you know, reveling in, in the low cost of gas or low cost of oil or anything because they're right there. But instead, um, who gets the benefit is uh, people who being who are importing the oil. Um, 
So it's exciting to see that not only are these struggles being made um, on the continent, but they're being carried out in different places in the United States um, and, in the Uni and in the United Kingdom, wherever there happens to be diaspora, wherever there happens to be African people who uh, think that this is important to talk about and important to raise up. And it's not just some, you know, some peace-loving march. Um, these are people who are saying that as long as you're uh, behind the increase in fuel, fuel supply, a fuel cost. So as long as you're behind um, imperialist governments in my country, we know exactly who's behind it. You are your government, and we're going to stand outside of your <coughs> your courts. We're going to stand in your streets. We're going to block your shit until you understand that we mean business. And um, there was a one guy on my Facebook who, when I posted a video of some of our comrades in the United Kingdom um, making these struggles outside in the street with the people, he was just like, well, it's, I find it funny that um, these Africans are protesting uh, in the United Kingdom when they're the reason why some of this is being hap is happening in their the home country because they, you know, they basically contributed to brain drain because they were, you know, they had to leave or they left their country. I think it's important to understand that when Africans, uh, when many Africans from the continent move to places like the United States and the United Kingdom, um, it's because they can't live in their countries because of imperialism, because of corrupt governments, because they can't afford to go from point A to point B. And I know, unfortunately, living in imperi the center of imperialism, you have to use that money in order to benefit your people at home. So you can't really say, it, it's not that easy to say that um, they left because they wanted to. They left because in many cases they had to. It's the same reason why my family came over to the United States. It's the same reason why a lot of people's family come over to the United States. It's because where they are is being depleted, their resources, their economy, and they can't make a living there. They can't eat, they're dying. And so you have to follow the money, and the money is here. And, 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 and that's basically what's going to feed their the children and you know, allow them to go to school and things like that. And it's not just African countries, you know, places like Mexico, where also, you know, they have corruption. Um, and, you know, the United States is backed, it, backing a lot of things that um, would encourage uh, mass flight from those countries. And it's not until all these places have self-determination, it's not until all of the resources are used for African people and um, within their respective countries or even as a whole, as long as our resources are being used for us and we're able to determine the price and the cost of things and how and who we distribute it to and how the money is being used toward for the people, will we uh, see a real change. And I'm excited because um, not only has this um, begun this year, but all last year there were uh, struggles that were being made in, 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 in Kenya, struggles that were being made in Sudan, struggles that were being made in Angola, struggles that were being made in several, um, in many countries across Africa. And I think with this, though, um, it's being seen where Africans are not only keeping it within the boundaries of the country, but also um, leaving it, allowing for a worldwide international um, struggle to be made uh, right in the places where many of these um, struggles, um, many of these contradictions are born. So I just wanted to say those few things and I wanted to just put it out there for you and I may even include some links below but um, uh, if you go to my page there are several channels that I have listed on the front page. Um, Kip, Wanz Kip Wanza Huru, I believe it is. I um, can't pronounce it correctly, but this is our comrades in the United Kingdom who have plenty of videos of all the, the marches that are happening uh, um, uh, in London in the many days that they've been out there. And so I think that's really inspiring. And um, let's get this thing started. It's 2012. It's revolution time. Let's make it happen. Uh -huh.